For the past 75 years, he's been the top hawk in Iowa on street corners, sweatshirts, and gracing the sidelines of Iowa athletics. You know his name, Herky, as the mascot for the University of Iowa. But it wasn't until the late 90s that there was a her in Herky. Carrie Norwood and Angie Anderson were the first women to step into the suit of the famed fledgling. I remember seeing an article or a little ad in the Daily Iowan. And I said, you know, this is this is for me. I'm going to do this. But I also didn't tell anyone. I, I, I didn't want anybody to know because I didn't get it. And just something hit me across the face. This feeling filled my body like, I'm going to be herky. I, it's going to be me. The two women were a part of a multi-person team on the sidelines and for numerous events. But with sharing one suit meant sharing something else, too. If you are the third, fourth, fifth or sixth herky, you are drenched in everyone else's sweat. And it's just kind of one of those rites of passage of grossness. For Angie, herky allowed her to do the things she could never get away with herself. So it's like being able to like do pranks and like, like basically get away with all those intrusive thoughts that you might have of like, wouldn't it be funny if I did that? And that included one invention she's especially proud of. One of the things that I invented was um, the toilet paper gun, which essentially I would go to Home Depot and rent a leaf blower. I rented it every week. Then we had a home game and I would duct tape a paint roller on the end. And then I would we would put toilet paper on it and then just blast it into the crowd. At the time, the pair enjoyed headlines as the first women herky and even game show fame. We actually were an answer on Jeopardy. It is like one of the highlights of my life. But never thought of themselves as pioneers. It, it was great to also sort of uh, groundbreak, but I think it was a lot of just luck, uh, you know, being the time that I tried out. I know there have been many women since. They saw their fair share of big moments throughout their time on the sidelines, going to the Alamo Bowl and cutting down the net after a Big Ten Conference win for the men's basketball team. But it was the interaction with fans that made it all worth it. You can give a high five to a five-year-old kid, or you can give a high five to a 95-year-old Hawkeye fan. And there is still that passion um, that, that doesn't waver no matter the age. Um, and it's Hawkeye fans are special. And how lucky am I to have been one of the ambassadors of the University of Iowa to help cheer the fans on and the teams on. Now, more than 20 years later, the two look back on their time behind the beak fondly. Here I am, you know, uh, 20 plus years later, and I'm still talking about it. So it's, it really was, uh, especially for Carrie and I, a, a magical experience. I'm still in touch with Carrie to this day. Like, so I have a friendship for life. I do remember sitting in my, in my mom's van as we're driving away from the University of Iowa. I mean, kind of looking back and being like, wow, I'm going to cry here. That was special. That was amazing. For Iowa's News Now. I'm John McMahon.